part of response is a way of thinking about how we organize every component of our system to ensure a substantial cultural shift to one where collaboration is found in every aspect of our work. Centered on truly responding to the needs of students that are arising on a continual basis. There are three foundational components integral within collaborative response. First off, collaborative structures and processes. Through a purposeful layering of team structures, each layer has a unique purpose, involves different team members, and engages with increasing levels of support. Critical to the layering of team meeting structures is the collaborative team meeting, identified as the heart and soul of collaborative response. During a collaborative team meeting, common key issues are identified, and the entire team generates possible solutions. Team members leave the meeting with an action item to try with their students who have been discussed. It is important that the discussion is solution focused and collaboration occurs to capitalize upon the strengths of the team and the collective knowledge that can sometimes go untapped in a school. Sometimes a common goal comes out of the meeting and this is carried out in collaborative planning time which is most often scheduled on a weekly basis. In addition to collaborative team meetings, other layers of meetings are established. While the collaborative team meeting primarily focuses on examination of classroom-based supports, the school support team meeting involves the school leadership team to typically examine supports potentially involving staff members beyond the classroom. Case consult team meetings are scheduled as needed to plan for the needs of students who may be requiring supports from external agencies or individuals from outside the school for their success. The layers of meetings allow the discussion of students to be distributed between all staff and prevent the school support team from becoming overwhelmed by the demands of responding to all students. Informing the collaborative conversations are data and evidence, which help us to determine who do we need to talk about. Students are flagged for discussion in team meetings through data and evidence. There are three main classifications of data and evidence. First. There are screens for all students. These are utilized as a common tool to see which students need additional or different support to be successful. Diagnostic assessments then take a deeper dive into specific areas of student need for those who are flagged by the screen as needing additional support. Once those specific areas are targeted, progress monitoring is established that is directly aligned with the area being addressed. Progress monitoring happens on a predetermined schedule to give evidence of continued student growth and progress and help to determine if the supports we are putting in place for students are effective. When staff go back to the collaborative team meetings with data and evidence, the conversations can be targeted to specific students that may have previously been slipping through the cracks. So our data and evidence helps to answer the question of, who will we talk about? Next, the question of, so what will we do about it surfaces and the answer exists within our continuum of supports. In collaborative response, we articulate four tiers of support, moving from universal best practice classroom instruction, followed by differentiated classroom support, such as classroom-based intervention, accommodations, or strategies for our students who have been identified as needing different or additional support to be successful. Next come our school supports, which are provided or organized by someone other than the classroom teacher, often involving specialized staff. The final tier of support involves individuals or agencies external to the school. It is important that we envision supports progressing within the continuum with increasing intensity and additional time, over and above what the classroom instruction traditionally provides. In collaborative response, supports are tiered, not the students. The student may require supports from different tiers at different times as their needs are responded to during team meetings as determined by data and evidence. The continuum of supports provides a menu of collaboratively built, tiered strategies, interventions, and accommodations to guide us during our team meetings. The continuum of supports is a continually evolving, collaboratively built menu that can assist our discussions about students. Collaborative structures and processes provide the solid framework to organize ourselves to have solution-focused and action-oriented conversations about students. Data and evidence, which consists of a school-wide screen to identify students needing additional support. 
diagnostic assessments to further identify key issues, and progress monitoring informs solution-focused conversations. The continuum of supports helps to guide the conversation when the question of, now what, arises, and we need to determine possible next steps for students. When these key elements are present and used with fidelity, we prevent students from falling through the cracks while building collective capacity of our team through the process.